once you develop, you're starting to develop a relationship with people and you're building that relationship, there tends to be a sort of a, maybe an awkward transition on you uh, monetizing some of those services. For example, if I can refer back to your book, you were talking to a young entrepreneur and you're telling him that uh, he was going around it the wrong way. He needs to find the clients first, offer those services for free, and then start his company. So my question is, how does he transition from offering these services for free? Well, look, there's a, distinction, there's a distinction from general generosity to offering free services. Mm -hmm. When you know, when a young man comes into our offices and says, um, "I would like to be, I would like to run social media for you," mm -hmm. and and until you uh, decide that I'm valuable enough, let me offer a consulting project which um, assesses what your current social media a footprint is and what it could be and what I would do. This kid came in and said, I'll give you $50,000 worth of free consulting and then I want you, you know, and, and and then I want you to assess my capabilities. That's fine. I mean, that's that's not a bait and switch. Here, somebody coming in being deeply generous with an expectation that it's a trial and error kind of process. Uh -huh. Now, what I, what I think you're alluding to is, you know, is on the other hand, there are people, and this happened to me the other day, actually, and, and it's, um, it's an interesting story. Somebody who was deeply touched by my book um, reached out to me and said, I've got somebody in my network that I really want to introduce you to. And I said, that's fantastic. It happened to be a musician, a rapper. And I was like, yeah, I'd love that. Thank you very much. My kid would love that. Right? With that in mind, I said, great, let's go for it. So after about two or three times, um, I reached out to him. I said, hey, I'm going to be Atlanta, um, which is where this rapper lives. Would um, uh, would he be available? And the person who had reached out to me reached out back and said, why don't we put a hold on this? I thought that in the meantime of offering this to you, you and I would spend more time together. And, and so until we spend time together, I really don't feel comfortable introducing you. So obviously the, this, this guy reached out to me with a perspective of quid pro quo. He had a balance sheet, right? Yeah. His view was, I'm, I'm going to make this introduction to Keith, and Keith is going to instantly invite me over to his home for dinner. Now, I reached back to this gentleman, and I said, listen, let me just explain something. Um, we now are running the cultural transformations of four of the largest companies in the world, right? I lost two of my business partners recently um, for very good reasons, no big deal. I am understaffed as a result, right? And I'm sorry, but what you're basically saying is because I didn't proactively spend time with you when I can't even spend time with my employees right now, you're rescinding your generous offer, right? There was somebody who really didn't understand and frankly didn't read my book very closely. Most of the time in my life when I've wanted to get to know somebody who's terribly busy um, and, and very important to me and I wanted to create value with them, there have been times when I've had to be generous for a year and a half until I started seeing some reciprocity because not because they're bad people, because they're busy. If, if, if he had introduced me to that rapper and then flown down from New York and was present at that time, I would have gotten to spend time with him. Likely he could have said, let's go to dinner and I would have done it. Right. But he really was thinking of transaction. Uh -huh. So there's a distinction between offering generosity. I really think you offer generosity until you just don't feel that, that, you know, that you care to do so anymore. But part of this is becomes a contagion. I love being generous. I love being generous. It feels great. I'm always trying to think of ways when there's people or people in my network, how to be generous to them.